This is Anna Deluvius, and his story is a good example of the complexity of evolution, our ancient human roots and human bias. Anna Deluvius lived about 8.7 million years ago in the late Miocene, a period when the climate was shifting to more open habitats. This is something we believe led to bipedalism in our ancestors. It was found in northern Turkey, which is part of Europe, or depending on your view, part of the Middle East and Eurasia. These are the bones we found. Yes, that's all, but even these few have sparked big claims. Notice the top bones of Anadoluvius have a flatter face when compared to another great ape of about the same time. This fossil is not a hominin, a direct line ancestor of humans, but a hominid, meaning it's part of the broader family of great apes, including humans, chimps, gorillas, and orangutans. The problem? Researchers have to start with guesses, then prove them, and the media has to find stories. Some researchers suggest it could hint at human evolution, proposing that early hominins evolved in Eurasia before spreading to Africa. The media have latched on to the provocative idea that humans evolved in Europe, not Africa, and too many content creators prioritize clickbait over truth. Unfortunately, racists are also latching onto these irrational speculative ideas. Some in the media have presented images like this, when it almost for sure looked more like this. If it walked upright, it might look like this. This image is from a racist website promoting Norwegian white supremacy. In December 2024, this group wrote, quote, According to our beliefs, whites are a distinct race and even species, which originated in what is now modern-day Norway. While we reject that we descended from apes, it is nonetheless part of the growing consensus rejecting the African narrative. End quote. Science follows evidence, and their racist views do not match reality. And most scientists remain cautious, and let's be real. This favorite trope is almost certainly not going to hold up. Without limb fossils, we don't even know if they walked upright. Right now, it's more likely it was a knuckle walker. Other than a flatter face, it's impossible to know if it had any traits similar to hominins. Sometimes similar traits evolve independently. This is Homo antecessor from about 1.2 million years ago. It too had a flatter face. However, unlike Anadoluvius, Homo antecessor is an ancient human, either our direct line ancestor or a cousin, but not likely related to Anadoluvius. While some researchers are hoping Anadoluvius is a human ancestor, it almost certainly is not. Any traits it shares with later African hominins are likely the result of convergent evolution. For now, Andaluvius Turki is a fascinating chapter in the story of great apes, but not a page in the book of human ancestry.